Hello, my name is Aubrey and today I am doing my July TBR. Can we just talk for a second about how it's already July 2021? I <laughs> still feel so stuck in 2020. Like I keep having to correct myself when I say the date because I just keep thinking that it's still 2020, but no, here we are <laughs> in 2021, July of 2021. Is anybody else feeling this way? It's just like, what is time even doing? What is time even doing? Anyway, um, <laughs> I, as always, have a completely ridiculous, overly ambitious TBR for you guys. I think you guys have sort of figured out by now that these are not super like, these are all of the books that I am definitely 100% going to read this month. It's more of like a little curated stack of stuff. <laughs> that I might want to read this month. I am 100% a mood reader and I kind of like to just sort of read whatever I feel like reading <laughs> at the time. However, I do find it helpful to kind of, again, make a little curated list of like, here are some things you could read this month because I always get this anxiety once I'm done with a book of like, what am I gonna pick up next? Because there are like a bajillion books that I wanna read and how do I choose the best one? <laughs> and how do I figure out which one I wanna read in this moment right now? And so I think kind of narrowing that down uh, is helpful to me. And you know, people like TBR videos. So here we are, lots of books on my list this month. So let's just get right into them. So first, I definitely wanna read volumes 10, 11, and 12 of Full Metal Alchemist. Um, I have been tackling this series this year. It is one of my all time favorite mangas, but I've never finished it. So um, I'm excited to continue on. I don't have that much to say about this, but yeah, I am really, really loving them. And this is a series that I highly recommend. Okay, next, I really want to read um, The Tropic of Serpents, a memoir by Lady Trent by Marie Brennan. I read the first book in the series last month and I really, really enjoyed it. And so I'm wanting to pick up the sequel and just to go ahead and continue on with the series. It's this kind of, alternative Victorian London with dragons and it's about this woman named Lady Trent who is trying to become a dragon naturalist and all of the sort of obstacles that she encounters being a woman in that time period and um, trying to get into science and study dragons. So I, I think it's cool. I'm really enjoying it. And I want to get to the second book this month. Next, I have A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. Yes, I know I have never read this trilogy. Um, it was on my list of like fantasy series that I absolutely need to get to this year. So I need to get to it this year. I started listening to the audiobook and I I really loved the narrator and I loved the narration. However, I was starting to get a little bit confused by things and so I think this is one that I'm gonna need to read physically. At the very least, I may listen to the audiobook and kind of follow along while I read. But yeah, like I said, I really enjoyed the narrator, the writing. I'm very, very intrigued by the story so I'm like really eager to continue and just finish this book up. I really, really want to get to this this month. And then once I decided that the Darker Shade of Magic uh, audiobook was not necessarily going to work for me, I decided to try out the City of Brass audiobook and I've really been enjoying it. It's very easy to listen to, if that makes any sense. Like I, I feel very grounded in the story. Everything feels really easy to imagine. I haven't gotten lost so far. So um, I think I will be continuing this on audio. This was another series that was on my priority list for this year to go ahead and, and read. And so I'm happy to go ahead and do that. It feels perfect for summer, maybe because it's a desert fantasy. Yeah, enjoying it so far. Uh, I'm not that far into it, maybe like one or two chapters, but so far so good, wanna read it this month. And then of course, I also want to carry on in the Wayward Children series. This month I have Across the Green Grass Fields, um, which is book six and the last one that is currently out. So once I've read this, I will have run out of Wayward Children books. I'm a little bit sad about that because I've really been enjoying these, but nonetheless, I am really excited to get to this this month. This is a new favorite series of mine. I've just been loving them. Okay, so now I have some books that I wanna read that are either like new releases or they're in anticipation of 
new releases. My top priority being I need to reread Carry On and read Wayward Son because Anyway the Wind Blows comes out this month and I, I thought for some reason it was coming out in August and I had more time but no it's coming out like really really soon and it is one of my most like highly anticipated books of the year. I really really need to get to uh Again, rereading Carry On and reading Wayward Son, I never read it because so many people complained about the cliffhanger ending and I hate cliffhanger endings. So I just decided I was not gonna read it and I was gonna wait until the third book. So I have been patiently waiting and I'm so excited that it's coming out. Oh my God. So these two are high priority in order to get to that third book and finish out this trilogy. In a similar vein, I also really wanna try out Crown of Feathers by Nikki Palpretto because the third book, Wings of Shadow, is coming out this month. This series just sounds so cool. It's about like Phoenix Riding sisters. It's a YA trilogy. I've heard pretty good things. Um, it sounds like it should just be kind of fun and I really want to get to it. I don't know if I will, but again, sort of in anticipation of that third book coming out, I do want to read this first book and just e see if it's even a book that I like. <laughs> okay, and then I have a couple of new releases that I just really want to get to, if not this month, just very, very soon. The first one is a Psalm for the Wild Built by Becky Chambers. This is her newest um, novella and it's about a futuristic society where all of um, the robots have like abandoned the human beings, the robots like find their way back and their first question is to ask humanity what it needs. And I haven't read any Becky Chambers. I'm a little bit intimidated by her space opera series. Um, so I just thought that this might be a really good place to start with her. It sounds really lovely. I am a sucker for stories about robots. I really like um, stories that explore humanity uh, and robots. I don't know. <laughs> And then the next book that I really want to read soon is The Wolf and the Woodsman by Ava Reed. This just sounds really, really good. Okay. In the vein of Naomi Novik's New York Times bestseller, Spinning Silver, and Catherine Arden's national bestseller, The Bear and the Nightingale, this unforgettable debut inspired by Hungarian history and Jewish mythology follows a young pagan woman with hidden powers and a one-eyed captain of the woodsman as they form an unlikely alliance to thwart a tyrant. I love adult fairy tales and this just sounds so so good. I'm gonna wait on this one because I have a feeling that this is the June book for my uh, Illumicrate subscription. I'm not 100% sure but I'm pretty sure that that's the book and um, I just got an email that those boxes are gonna be delayed so um, you know I'm gonna wait to get my copy, hopefully, to get my copy of that book. But I am really, really excited to read it whenever it gets here because it just sounds so good and like a woodsy fairy tale for summer just sounds really great. All right, that's it for my TBR. I think I couldn't think of any more books that I like needed to add to this list, but we'll see what I end up reading. <laughs> when I do my July wrap up. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more from me. I hope to see you next time. Bye.